Hey, De'Aaron, over your last three games, uh, 30, 37, and now a career best, 44, just what is clicking for you right now, and, and how much fun are you having out there? Um, I mean, one, I've been making free throws, so that's uh, that's a big thing about it. Um, but for me, it's just continuing to stay in attack mode um, early and often and just letting it kind of, you know, go throughout the game, not really trying to force anything, but, you know, continue to attack the basket and, you know, look for open guys, get to the basket, pull-ups, you know, whatever it is, uh, just trying to be able to score on all three levels. And when I get to the free throw line, just be able to knock it down. Hey, Fox. Um, when you see what, you know, you did, especially in that fourth quarter, those two threes in succession, the back-to-back, it's about as confident as, as a look as you had. Was that heat check? How much were you just kind of feeling that moment right there? Um, well, the first one was, I mean, they were just sagging off. He went under, and I shot that one uh, – the second one, just because the first one felt good, uh, you know, I decided to shoot it again. And, you know, my teammates and my coaches have the utmost confidence in me to make big plays and to be able to put the ball in the basket. And um, for me, it's just just try to deliver. You know, that's those are the things that we work on, you know, before games, during practice, whatever. Those are those are things that we work on being in ISO situations when guys go under screens, being able to make the three ball. So. Jason Jones. Yeah, De'Aaron, we hear Luke say all the time that most guys can't stay in front of you, but was tonight a night where you felt like in that second quarter and going on that, yeah, tonight really no one can stay in front of me it's gonna, and it's going to be a big night? Um, Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, I feel like, you know, no matter who it is, you know, I can pretty much get to the basket. But, uh, you know, a lot of teams, um, you know, start off with taller, longer guys. Um, and in that second quarter, a lot, I had someone who was, you know, my size or, or smaller, so – um, for me, it's sometimes just being able to get in the post, be able to get easy looks. And, you know, once you see the ball go through the basket a few times, then, you know, the jumper, uh, it, it definitely helps to, to shoot jumpers after that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I continue to just try to play the same way every game. Um, obviously, take what the defense gives you and things like that because teams are going to guard you differently. But uh, as long as it's being in attack mode and being aggressive, then, you know, you kind of live with the results. I'm sorry. Darren, I got to ask you, uh, just seems like so much unbridled joy. I know winning is better than losing. How much fun are you guys having, one? But two, what was your honest, genuine reaction when you saw Damian Lee fall down, get back up, and then foul Tyrese Halliburton on the floor? <laughs> uh, we were every man. It was, you know, obviously it's a joy to win. And, you know, when, when big plays like that happen, you know, everybody's going crazy. Um, I mean, that's that's huge. That's huge. Uh, Ty is continuing, you know, to get better, developing himself, and – it's, you know, it's for me, it's amazing, you know, seeing someone who's younger than me just because it wasn't it didn't happen a lot because I came <laughs> in, the, in the league at 19. So I didn't really besides Marv, uh, I think I didn't really much have a, a younger teammate. So it's definitely great being able to watch him grow every day. George. De'Aaron, Kyle Guy had a, a really strong game tonight. Luke Walton shared with us at the beginning of the season that at some point it's going to be all hands on deck and, and your number is going to be called. What kind of boost does it provide you and the guys who play a lot when you have players like Kyle and, and the rest of that bench that are ready to go when their number is called and, and ready to play and perform how they do? I mean, you know, for KG, it's we know what he can do. Everybody knows he can shoot the ball, um, but he does, I mean, for one, going to Virginia, being able to play in that system, you have to be a smart player. You got to be able to do multiple things. And uh, we, we know that he can do that. We know he can rebound the ball, especially for his size. Um, you know, defensively, he's a smart defender. Obviously, you know, he's not one of the biggest or quickest guys in the world, but, you know, he knows what he's doing and he thinks his way through the game. Um, I mean, he gets rebounds to be that size and everything. He does, he does a lot of things for us, especially, you know, when he's out there on the court. And he's, I mean, he's young, but he's a, he's a pro's pro. Um, you know, having guys like that, uh, who's always ready, no matter what, whenever the number's called, they're, they're ready to, they're ready to perform. You know, if sometimes if he's not making shots, he's getting rebounds, he's, he's making plays. Um, and, and that's definitely great for us. Tony Harvey. De'Aaron, you know, these past 10, 11 games, you really been charging to make it to the, the foul line and shoot free throws. Um, I know it's been talked about in the last couple of months, how you've been getting there, but what, what what did you do in the offseason? Were you going back looking at film or, I mean, what was your passion to make this part of your game, getting to the charity strike? Uh, I mean, you, you see it a lot and how guys have, you know, not, I guess, manipulated the game and seeing how guys are being able to draw fouls. Um, 
it's just those little things. I mean, for, for but for me, uh, I think that's different than what a lot of guys in this league do is when I'm going, I'm, I'm still trying to score. You know, some people are going to the basket just looking for the foul and not even trying to score the layup or whatever shot they're taking. Uh, I'm still going in there to score because if the foul is not called, I still want to be able to finish. And um, just just being able to figure out those little things have definitely helped me. Um, I think even like last year, um, you know, I was kind of learning to do it, but I still wanted to be one of the best finishers in the league. And uh, this year I'm, I'm just continuing to grow at it and continue to get better at it. And then, you know, when I am at the free throw line, um, you know, the next step is, you know, be able to knock down free throws at a higher clip. Hey, De'Aaron, great game, dude. Um, two questions, if I can. Um, first of all, uh, just generally speaking, I, is, I think most of these trades are official today, if not all, but – um, generally speaking, how much will, you know, some of this added depth uh, help it? But, you know, you get a, some backcourt help, some frontcourt help. How, how much do you think that'll benefit you guys? Oh, it'd be great for us. Um, you know, Chris, he plays hard and, and, uh, um, and, uh, and Mo, and, you know, he's, he can, he can knock down a three. He's, you know, big, long, and, and Delonte, who can play both. Uh, both guard spots can defend well. Uh, it's it, it's good for us, and you know we're ready for those guys to get here, and you know for them to be able to, uh, you know, learn the plays and you know just get comfortable here. Um, but for us, it's you know let's let's keep this thing going and let's let's insert them right in. Any more questions, Kamani? Hey, Darren, great game. Um, looking at how y'all how y'all playing right now and the new guys you have to incorporate in and your place in the standings it's not exactly insurmountable but how far ahead are you guys thinking right now uh, i mean you we, we want to be able to continue to, to to think about this you know to take this one day at a time one game at a time uh right. you don't want to get ahead of yourself whoever that next game is that's what we look forward to and just try to keep this rolling last question Sean Cunningham yeah that's one no i mean you have that 20 points in that second quarter um, at what point did you figure, you know, I'm going to go for the scoring, I'm going to go for the career high, or I'm going to try and get beyond a certain point? Oh, no, I, I never did. Um, Come on, I really? 44, nah, for real. No? When, when, I, when I had 44, they were like, you know, go get 50. And uh, for me, I'm like, man, let's let, let's just get this game, you know, over with. And, you know, there are other opportunities for, for that to happen. Uh, that's what I said. Uh, I, I wasn't actually looking for a career high or anything, but if shots are there, I'll take them get to the free throw line, make them. That's pretty much how I think about it.